Hi, this is David Spangler from Aperio, and I'm here to talk about the behavior of folders and labels in the migration to Google. So we're looking at an NYU home screen, and what we're going to focus on is the folders that are called top, sub1, and sub2. So our top level folder has no messages in it, sub1 and sub2 have two messages apiece. So the behavior of the migration is that if a folder does not have a message directly underneath it, the folder will not be converted into a label. The folder that does have, the subfolder that does have messages in it will be converted into a label that incorporates the top level folder and the subfolder into the name of the label. So let's look at the Google side and see what happened. So this is a freshly migrated mailbox of the one that we just looked at. So we have two labels that were created from the folders we have top slash sub1 and top slash sub2. If I click on top slash sub1, you can see that we have top slash sub1 as a label. So it was put together, it was concatenated um, into one label. So what we want to do though, uh, in this case, is to try to make it look more like a nested labels, um, to make it look more like a folder structure but still incorporate the labels. So we do that by selecting the nested labels lab. So we go to the right upper right hand part of the screen, options and mail settings, and to labs. And we're going to scroll down to nested labels, which is a lab. And we're going to press enable and then don't forget to hit save changes on the way out. So we can see right off the bat that nothing has really changed on the left part of the screen. So what we want to do is actually create a top level label by pressing more and create a new label and we're actually going to name it the same as the top level label that we want to uh, turn into a nested label. Stay away from the nest label under, it's going in the wrong direction for nesting labels. So we're going to press top uh, type in top, which is again the same folder name, press create, and as soon as we do that you can see that those two labels have been condensed underneath top. So we have top sub1, top sub2. If we look at sub1, you can see that those same messages are here with the same labels. So by changing nested label, it does not actually change the label on the message. Nested labels is simply a, a different visual presentation of the labels. Now, one thing that nested labels did add when we added that new label, and we do we can check this by going to manage labels, is that it actually nested those two labels underneath the top label. So the thing that you want to make sure of is that as you're managing your labels and nested labels, you do not want to press remove because if you do, it will remove the top label and also the sub1 label and the sub2 label. So also all the sub labels underneath that. So you want to be very careful with this part. Usually use edit if you want to move the labels around in this manner for the nested labels. Thanks.